Walker joined with Shooting Pro again, and now we're actually doing something a little bit different than just, you know, Bed Wars. We wanted to play some Psycho Sky, uh, Skyblock, and he's watching me there in the background, which, that's so weird. That's actually so creepy. I can, I can see you. I can see. Hold on, let me, let me block this up real quick. Let me block this up real quick. And so today, oh, I can still see him. I can still see him. What the heck? Okay, hold on. Let me, do, let me do my intro in peace. So today, I am here joined with Shooting Pro, and we are going to be playing Psycho Sky Skyblock. Now, this, uh, the IP is on the screen, as you can see over here, and it's also going to be in the description as well. And yeah, that's basically it. We're probably just going to show you the beginning parts just a little bit, and then we're probably going to cut it out because it's a little bit boring. So yeah, um, why did he remove me from the island? I don't understand this person. It just teleported me to spawn. Yeah, I'm going to be playing with Shooting Pro on, on here. And yeah, we started off already a little bit because we know the beginning is a little bit boring. Anything you want to say? Well then, what I'd like to say is, get off my island. Just so you all know, we're only shifting up and down on the crops just so that way they grow. Because on this server, if you shift up and down on crops, it makes them grow. No, we're not weirdos, okay? Now, I, I kind of want to ask something, which I highly doubt we're going to get this, but if we can get five likes, which is my first ever like goal that I'm asking for, which yes. is probably the worst idea I've had, but I just want to see if we can hit it. If we can hit five likes, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I will also leave a link to Shooting Pro's channel in the description if you want to go check him out, which I believe you're going to be doing stuff like Apex and all that stuff, right? Or... Yes, most likely I will be. Probably be doing Apex Legends on the PC sometime maybe next week. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you want to watch Apex videos and maybe like some other stuff, um, maybe even like uh, Seven Days to Die or something like that, then you can go check out his channel. To what he said of the five like goal. Remember, smash the like button, subscribe, and... Turn on notifications. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was forgetting. <laughs> uh, we're probably just going to show off just a little bit of the beginning, just so yep. you kind of get a hint on how everything works. And then after that, we'll probably just start on a melon farm and we'll show it. Um, but we still need to get Schematica and such, so we can use uh, schematics, because that will make our lives easier. We also did a little bit of stuff off camera. I don't know why I'm fast sacking on a Skyblock server. The beginning is a little bit boring, but it'll get better after we start getting some stuff situated. So the first thing we're planning on trying to do is getting a, a, a decent melon farm set up, and then the next thing we need to do is get an ore generator set up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a decent sized farm, and then I'm gonna copy it, and then I'll start printering it, if that makes sense. Green out blocks, dang it. So this is, and I'm going to harvest up a bit of wheat and maybe make a little bit of money if I can. Now, one thing that, that's gonna be really important for us to get is haste three. That's something that's gonna be really, really important. And we could sell it if we wanted to, if we got one, because they do sell for quite a lot of money. We're going to start getting spawners and everything at one point. It's just going to take a bit of time because, you know, starting off takes some time. And it's it's kind of a grindy thing. And then after a bit of time, then you just start getting spawners and stuff. And it's really not too difficult. Like it is because of the missions and stuff, but it, it still is difficult. Just not as much. Yeah, I'll probably update you guys after I get some more money and all that. And I'll show you how the printer works. So I just realized that I was doing this wrong, and I'm supposed to make it uh, four blocks. So now I'm having to go back, move all the dirt, or most of the dirt at least, and replace it to be how it's normally supposed to be. Which means I'm losing dirt, and it's not that big of a deal, but we don't have a whole lot of money, so...
Oh yeah, I was gonna say possessed spawners, or whatever they're called exactly. Um, you can get possessed treasure, which allows you to get AFKable spawners. So you can just go AFK and grind them. And if you're probably wondering, um, no, you cannot AFK any other type of spawner other than those because uh, if you kill mobs with like lava and stuff like that, it doesn't drop anything. So you have to use the AFK spawners. Are you gonna expand that out? I don't have any dirt, so I probably can't. Here, I'll go to the shop real quick. I don't know how far we want this to be though. Probably not a whole lot because we're gonna need this dirt for the melon farm. That should be good enough, I hope. If, if I just sit here really, really quietly, will you be able to hear the wind? No. Okay. Okay, I think this should be good enough, shouldn't it? Yeah. I mean... This is definitely big enough. Because we don't need something really big, because yeah. we already have the melon farm. Yeah, and this is just to help us get a little bit of money until it's finished or whatever. Yeah, it's a very grindy process, but at, after you get past the part of, like, melons and everything, it's actually quite enjoyable. Like, it's not too difficult like it is because the missions and stuff. But it's, it's a little bit better, or a little bit more fun, because then you can go to like Warzone and such after you get to, get to like level 5, and you can, you can kill people and such if you want to. Do you want to sell the wheat and such, or...? Because I was hoping for a spawner. Okay, here, take this. Well, I kind of miss, like, I think it was Daily MC, because that one was like a really grindy process where you have to get the crop hopper and everything you know and all that stuff oh, which was that one that was um it was another server that they made uh psycho or whatever it did and it it didn't really do that well is that the one with the cell wands and the yeah i believe so spawn in there's like a diamond box like this one sort of where you click it and it can make you fly to wherever you want yeah i think so pets yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played that one a long time ago with you. But yeah, I sat there grinding for like two weeks straight, just trying to get a crop hopper. It took so long. But that was kind of the fun process because after you got that, you made so much money, you know, and such. If you, well, if you set up a uh, uh, cactus farm and such. Yeah, this layer's done. So what I'm gonna do, or actually. I'm gonna set up the glowstone, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll copy this layer and I'll just keep pasting it, like, above it and such. I don't know how many layers we want, I'm thinking at least four. There, so this layer's done, by the way. I mean, other than like, the melons and such. So, for anyone that's interested on how this works, all I have to do is I just have to move these little cubes around, and then I just have to save this as like a schematic. It's really not that hard. It's actually a really, really cool mod. So, I just have to add a blue point here now. So, I need to move it over here, and then move it down. Now, since I have that set up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these blocks, just so it doesn't save that in the- Oh wait, actually I forgot. I need to move this up a little bit, so that way it gets the, the glowstone with it. So now it should save this entire or this entire bit right here. Now the only issue that I'm gonna have right now is it's gonna save this water as part of it. So I need to like block it off or something. Now since I have this set up, I just need to push F6 and then I save the schematic as melon farm. Now I believe it will save these melons as part of it, but it's not that big of a deal. So now all I have to do is I have to push F8, click melon farm, and then hit done. So I need to move it right there and then move it up right there. So now since that's set up, all I have to do is I just have to hit print. There we go. <laughs> and now it should start building. There we go. But yeah, that's it. Do you have anything to say? I'm gonna do my outro right, here in a second. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't sub to him, but sub to me because everyone knows I need him. Okay, don't listen to that last thing, but still. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Definitely go check out Shooting's channel because he's gonna be doing Apex. Subscribe to me, like. I was doing my outro, dude. You cut me off. Anyways, so yeah, it's just he's gonna be doing Apex videos and stuff, so if you want to watch Apex and all that stuff, then go check him out, but yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Catch you all later. Have a great day. That's a weird angle. Goodbye! <laughs>